Ranger is a long range class focusing on exploiting enemy weaknesses for the whole party. In today's video, we are going to discuss a Ranger build that focuses on an easy to use weapon, the rifle. Let's jump right into it. For starters, let's talk about your class tree. At the time of this recording, we have a maximum of 40 skill points to spend. Here's how we spend them. Max out Blight Rounds which creates marks on a target that deal additional damage when hit. Upgrade this with Blight Rounds Reinforce, which will increase the damage bonus given by marks hit more than 100 times, and Wide Range Blight Rounds, which allows you to mark several targets at once instead of a single target if you so choose. Max out Bad Condition Ward, which makes it harder for you to be inflicted with status effects. Put 5 points into Bad Condition Reduction, which reduces the duration of a status effect that is inflicted on you. Slow Landing Attack, which makes you fall slower when firing your rifle in the air. Slow Landing Charge, which allows you to fall at a slower rate when charging or using a photon art while in the air. Rifle Grenadier, which lets you throw or place a grenade on the ground when you hold the weapon action button. Upgrade this by maxing out Rifle Grenadier Quick Reload, which, when maxed, instantly resets the cooldown of your grenade when you successfully dodge an attack. Spread Shot, which allows you to build up a special gauge by attacking that, when full, can be expended to fire off a shotgun blast. Upgrading this with Spread Shot Quick Getaway makes you invulnerable while firing the shot. Spread Shot Wide Range will make the shot fire in an AoE in front of you. And finally, Spread Shot Auto Charge to make the gauge charge automatically instead of just when you attack. Lastly, Take Slide Shot Advance, which gives you brief invulnerability when using your weapon action. Your subclass of choice is Force. Be sure to spend all of your skill points in the Force skill tree, but only one matters here. Eradication PP Gain, which restores PP when an enemy is defeated near you. This ensures when you fight large groups of enemies, you will have near constant PP regen. When fighting groups or bosses, it's important to always be making use of Blight Rounds, as they make enemies take more damage whether you hit the marks they make or a fellow player does. They are arguably the most important tool a ranger has. When fighting a group of enemies, our main tools are Wide Range Blight Rounds and the Photon Art Homing Darts. Fire Wide Range Blight Rounds whenever you have them, as this creates marks on several enemies at once. Then lock on to as many targets as you can with Homing Darts and fire away. When fighting bosses, we have the Single Target Blight Rounds and the Blaze Shot Photon Art. Generally, you want to fire all your Blight Rounds at the boss's weak point. But if you are fighting an enemy such as Frostal Sword, you will want to target a different part, such as the legs first, in order to help your melee players down the target faster. When not marking the target, dump all your PP into Blaze Shot to fire rapidly at your target while gliding back and forth. Don't forget, you are also able to use Spread Shot and Grenades. These abilities are useful no matter what kind of situation you're in, so be sure to use them whenever possible. At the time of this recording, the gear you should be shooting for are a Kaisar rifle and three Sestato Armor Belta units. The Kaisar rifle can be crafted. A link to how you craft this weapon series can be found in the description below. The units can be found in a specific red box, or dropped from Kavaris Battle the Purple. The augments you want for all this gear are Mastery 4, which must be exchanged for in the Augment Capsule Exchange, Crocus Soul 3, which drops from Crocodilus or Crocodilus Vera, Dark Falls Interception Rank 2, and can be exchanged for in the Augment Capsule Exchange, Gigas Precision 3, which drops from Gigantics and can be exchanged for in the Augment Capsule Exchange, Super Precision, which drops from Cannonball Rumble, and Decold Precision, which comes pre-installed on Redbox Unix 
and can be found in the Kavaris Exchange Shop. That's all for this build. If this video helped you, please like the video and subscribe to me for more PSO2 content. This is Shadgon, signing off.